Hello folks, welcome to the third tutorial on how to create a project site on CEO Innovations. This assumes you've gone through the first two steps of this project, uploading a folder of images to your page and copying the sample.markdown file into either GitHub or Google Docs. The third step to this process is customizing your front matter for your file. That's the first few lines of the file. I'll be going through all of these first two steps very briefly to set up my sample file and then I'll show you an example of how to customize the front matter for your file. So again our first step is to upload a folder of images and documents that you want to include on your site to see your innovations and we have to do that by dragging and dropping a folder, preferably one without spaces, to the project assets folder. So I'll do that now. And I'm making a project about a toaster here. So it says toaster as my folder name because we want to have it be descriptive. Our second step is going to be to navigate to the projects folder and then copy and paste the sample.markdown into our own folder. To do that, we click edit this file, that pen tool, and we click control A, control C. We go back to our projects folder. We don't have to commit here because we're just copying and click add file, create new file, control V. And then everything from that sample file will be in our new folder or a new file. We want to give our file a descriptive name that ends in Dart Markdown. So for me, that might be super dash toaster Dart Markdown. Again, space, don't try not to include spaces here. Try to include a dash where you'd want a space instead. So this, this is your front matter. The rest of this is the content of your site. It might not make sense now, it should later. And what we want to do here is fill out these first few lines to decide how our page is displayed on our site. Don't touch this layout.post line because it controls the formatting of your page. So changing it could make things look not how you want them to look. The site title, the title of your page will be the title you want to display. Your description will be a one sentence description of your project. Display image will probably be the most difficult um, category to understand, but essentially you're just choosing what image appears on the homepage of the site for your project. Preferably the image you choose will be cropped by three by two or narrowly so that your project appears nicer. So I'm going to go to my project assets folder and then the folder I just made, super to underscore toaster. From there, I want to choose one image I want to include. Let's go with toaster2.jpg. And then I'll write the name of my folder and the name of the image I want to include. And that will make this image appear on the home page. Categories are decide what if my image will show up when these buttons are pressed on the home page. So just check to see if any of them might apply to your image. If they do, I'll say that 3D printing and tech apply. Delete everything that doesn't apply. Authors are the people working on your project. For me, me, that would be myself. And let's give myself a collaborator. Or two. You can add as many people to a project if you want. And it's okay if they don't have author modules. Although, if you'd like to include a picture or more information about yourself in your author segment, we'll get into that in another tutorial. This last, last option, Featured, 
determines whether or not your project will show up in this featured projects portion of the CEO homepage. I'll say, you know, this, my project is super important. I want it to show up. So I'll set featured equal to true. And that's all we have to do for our front matter right now. Some common problems you might run into with front matter, or if you have something capitalized, it may work, but it may create a problem. So check for that if you're not seeing your site show up. Also, your front matter has to be the very first line in your file. Something like this will make it so your front matter does not work. And if you scroll down and commit, you will see your front matter show up as this type of table option to show that it worked correctly. If, for example, you have a gap like this, your front matter won't show up as a table. And you know, we'll know that you need to go back and change something. To the CEO innovation site. It may take a few minutes for our changes to update. Oh, look, there they are. If you ever have a problem seeing your changes, go on incognito mode and then go to the site because that will clear your browser cache and make things update a few minutes faster. Now you'll notice right now, our site doesn't look great. There's no real content. And we'll go into how to add that content in the next tutorial. But oh, look, we have our people, yay.